We're Tyler and Todd, and this is Charlie and Eddie. When COVID-19 changed the world earlier this year, we traded in traveling North America in our RV for life off-grid in the woods. We spent the last few weeks preparing for an off-grid winter, and with the cold finally here, it's time we figure out how to keep our water from freezing. And with all the craziness going on, holiday cheer is arriving to our tiny house a little early this year. Come along. You know what we forgot to do yesterday? Get water. Got us water. Nice. What are you doing? Just sweeping out the chimney. Is it dirty? Oh yeah. Well, we've been burning a lot of softwood right now that we had around because it hasn't been super cold. So obviously that put more build up in the chimney. I'm gonna come up and see it actually. Sure. Hmm. It's pretty cool though. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go bring in the water and get started on coffee while you finish that. Okay, sounds good. So. I guess now is as good a time as any to open up the vlog now that we have our water, although we haven't made our coffee yet. But we have a lot of work to do to get this place ready for winter. Yeah. Our water lines froze earlier this week. That's how cold it's been. So we're gonna disconnect everything. And hey buddy. Excuse me. Anyway, long story short. <laughs> We're gonna get started on fixing this system up so our water doesn't freeze anymore. Hey, buddy. <laughs> right now it's still really cold because the fire's just warming up, but this space is much warmer than where the water tank, the water tank is under the RV. It's in a heated compartment technically, but it will freeze, like but all also, of the lines. And we're not running the furnace except for at night yeah. just to keep a little bit. So in the day it runs the risk of freezing also. Because our solar is not set up yet. That's what? a whole nother thing. What? Okay, so let's start disconnecting all of this. I'm gonna get to cutting, and then we're gonna put some insulation panels. You can see your breath. Oh, you can, it's yeah. cold. Okay, let's get started. So it turns out we got a little too far ahead of ourselves. We need to disconnect this plumbing and this plumbing back there um, in order to actually get access to cut. Do you want me to do it? The P-trap's pretty nasty. Sure, you can do that. Yeah, I'll take one for the team. All right. Somehow I always have to be the one to do the P-trap work. Here. Thanks, I'm gonna need this. My little splash goggles. <laughs> we got the nasty pipe out. It smells so bad. It does. Took one for the team, Tyler. Good job. So now that we've removed everything from under the sink, it's time to actually install the system. So we're using these two really large kind of military jugs. They're six gallons each. All of the gray water is gonna drain from the existing plumbing into this bucket. We're gonna have a lid on it so that when we need to switch things out, we can just take the bucket out and then leave our fresh water connected. Huge shout out to Matt and Danielle from Exploring Alternatives. They helped us a lot with this system. They actually did it the same in their van. So we're using the marine pump that they used. It's just a little foot pedal. So basically all we're doing is connecting this half inch braided tubing into the pump. The other line goes into our water jug and then the other line goes into a copper faucet that we have to make. We've never done this before, but we're gonna be soldering together copper piping. So, wish us luck on that. And then we're also going to install a little bit of insulation on the back mm -hmm. wall so that this whole thing stays a little bit warmer. Should we do the insulation first? Probably, yeah. now that everything's out of here. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so how about you go under, measure, and then I'll write down. You just wanna see my ass. 22.5 by 15 and a half. I just like to give all the angles. This is really hard to like get into. Yeah, I've got a hard job here too. Let's go cut these. 
Okay. Let's get them in. And okay, we're gonna have warm water. Okay, so the next one is 42 by 16. All right, 42 by 16 goes on the bottom on this side. So we just finished installing all of the insulation in the cabinet walls. I think this is gonna make a huge difference. Well, I already noticed winter. it warmer now. Do you really? No. <laughs> You're an idiot. Next up is... Do you wanna do the foot pump? Like... Yeah, let's do the foot pump. Okay, let's do the foot pump. Okay, so unfortunately our trusty marine pump is too tall to be able to get clearance to open and close the cabinet doors. So we have to take them off and shave a little bit off so it can close. It's so annoying. With these projects, like, you think it's gonna be super easy and then you run into a couple things and then it's four hours later and you haven't even installed plumbing. But you're not mad, are you? No. You're just walking fast because you want to get it done. You're so excited. Well, I really wanted to decorate for Christmas tonight and have wine and... I know. Oh. And chili. Aren't we going to make chili? Yeah. Or I wanted to. Oh. We've got an ambitious day. Do you want me to put those back on quickly? Yay! Awesome. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to get ready and make our faucet now, which we've actually never done before. Plumbers are watching being like, what are these people doing? Probably the same people that were shocked when we did our wow. rain catchment. That's pretty cool. Like cut right through the metal. This we said nine inches, right? Yeah. This is a skill that I thought that I would never ever do in a million years or have. And I feel so much more confident right now. Yeah. I'm gonna get a blow torch in a minute. Wow. You can really do anything. And then I'm gonna get my other elbow joint. That's looking good. Cool. So are you nervous? No, I'm actually really excited. Yeah? It's cool that I'm like learning a new skill. I never thought that I would be doing plumbing like this. So it's kind of exciting. That's true. What I'm putting on here right now is called Flux. The easiest way to explain Flux is it's basically uh, like a primer before you paint. So what I'm doing is attaching this by soldering it. So this is made of tin, this is made of copper. So without Flux, the tin won't bond to the copper. The more you know. Seriously. All right, are we ready? We got some cleanup on aisle seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Ready? Yeah. No leaks, hopefully. No leaks? Mm -mm. That must feel good. Yeah, I can't believe I did this. Let's, right. let's go and saw it. This is just gonna be temporary. Um, we don't have enough parts to get this attached properly, but we really need water. And we can't figure out like how to stop this from just sliding down. So Tyler installed um, a, a clamp. Yeah. So I'm just going to drill a hole here and then this clamp will prevent it from going all the way down. We're going to get some sort of a mounting bracket to go underneath, but this, this will work for now. So now we are going to connect all of this tubing and hopefully just tie this together so we can move on and have water. Okay. You ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little frustrated. All right, let's get this done. Is that a new toy for me, Dad? Oh, you got me one with a squeaker. Oh, Dad. Okay. So Charles, calm down. That's that. Our life is nothing but a mess. <laughs> and I love it because you're the best. Do you know what, Tyler? What? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Hey, I see that little smile. I've got the pump installed. The two water lines are connected. We're connected to the fresh water tank, which is right here. So that's connected to the pump, which is connected to the, the left bone, <laughs> the faucet above. Now we need to connect to the gray water tank, which is gonna be this bucket. So we need to connect this pipe into the lid. Did you get it, buddy? 
Almost. Charlie's mad at the house flies. I call them flying protein bites. Todd is just putting a cap in the gray tank, so. Because you said you had a hole you wanted me to drill. This tube is gonna connect to the old drain, and then we're gonna have a complete system. Let's give her a go. I'm nervous. I'm gonna be so devastated if this doesn't work. We got water. That's sweet. That is sweet. Plus, you get a little glute workout while you're doing it. Wine and Christmas. Coming right up. It's a little bit early, I would think, to some people, but we typically start decorating after Remembrance Day, November uh, 11th. No, we don't. That's when you come yeah. on board. I start uh, Halloween night, usually. <laughs> He's not joking. But anyway, we are gonna start putting this place together. We're really excited. We got a lot of really fun decorations. Everything that we got is battery operated because we're able to recharge our batteries from our solar panels through our Jackeries, not our actual solar panel system because we don't have that yet. Soon. Soon. Anyway, I'm excited. Yeah. It's gonna be good. You get I mean, we did get a pre-lit Christmas tree, but we don't intend to use those. We're gonna use battery. Battery. Yes, yeah. so we got these ones. They're pretty neat. So they use D batteries, so they last a lot longer. So. Gotta use that D. <sighs> All right. Let's get started. So we have spent the last few hours opening all of the Christmas decorations, getting everything set up, having some red wine, which has been really nice. Yeah, my parents stopped in. It's yeah. been a fun night. It has been. But I'm gonna let Todd continue decorating and I'm gonna get started on dinner. We are having chili. One thing that really annoys me with you vegan- give that composting toilet a run for its money tomorrow. <laughs> One thing that really annoys me with vegan and vegetarian. <laughs> With vegan and vegetarian chili is it's always so watery. I really like how classic chili is meaty and hearty. I have a really good recipe for chili <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in the description box down below. It's completely free. I just wanna share it because I've really perfected this and I think it's really good. So I'm gonna go get started on that now. Yeah, do you have anything else to add? No, that's good, no. <laughs> Okay. Chop your onion, garlic, mushroom, jalapenos, one pack of Beyond Meat, throw in your garlic, onion, and jalapeno, mixing together with a dash of olive oil. Add in all your spices, coating everything thoroughly. Mix in tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, mushroom broth, kidney beans, corn, mushroom, and voila, vegan chili. So I'm gonna let that chili simmer for about 30 minutes just to let it thicken up and get all the flavors running through it. And I'm gonna casually sneak a little spoonful for the next 30 minutes when Tyler's not looking. <laughs> yes, you will, you already have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we are continuing with Christmas decorating and it's looking so good. If you buy like pre-decorated garland, I find it actually really expensive and I've always had trouble with storing it to the next year so it usually comes out damaged. So we just buy cheap garland, we packed it down with Dollarama garland and then we splurged on the $9.99 garland <laughs> and that's what's running along here. And now I'm just using burlap ribbon to fill it in and then we'll go back through with these berries that we got at the Dollarama. Tyler thought that having a full-size tree in the RV was gonna be too much, but I think- It's not gonna stay there. It's gonna be more in the corner. Yeah, I did think like it would be- It's gonna be more like here, <laughs> I think. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> I think it's gonna- Would've been me, you and nothing else. No distractions, just attraction Ooh, And I'm no good at letting go But there's something about you Makes me lose my inhibition That's cute. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. It looks really good. We've got burlap ribbon on it and burlap ribbon all along the slide. I think it looks really, really nice. I really like it too. How's light duty? Um, it's a process. We want to have the whole ceiling be uh, lights, but like in white. So I we think don't we can to... do it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going with these clear command hooks. They're actually really cool. You can't even see them. Yeah. You're putting the hook backwards. Mmm. <laughs> 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 We're getting there. It's a little bit to think about though. It's kind of like doing crown molding. 
It's upside down and backwards. Just like. I keep messing up the hooks. <laughs> Do you remember just, that as a kid? Like, you'd have to be careful with the light bulbs because they literally shatter in your hands. Yep. Oh, good times. They don't make it like that anymore. <laughs> One too many lawsuits and the whole world had to change. <laughs> Putting that last little bit up there. <laughs> yeah. It's too short to make it back to the slide to hide it on. And we don't have two-sided tape to stick it to the wall or, like, the roof or something. So it's just sitting on our mitten bin for now. Yeah. You know uh, what though? It works up there. It does. Till we get that two side of tape. All right, do you want to turn off all the lights? That's really pretty. I like it. I'm really happy. Like, I don't really know what to say. It's actually better. I thought it was gonna look really bad, I won't lie. Got it loaded? Yes, Arthur Christmas. Chili's ready. It smells so good. I can't wait to eat it. I'm so hungry and tired. <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah. All right. We are going to go enjoy our movie and head to bed. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? I slept really well with a little Christmas jingle in my heart. <laughs> and a <laughs> bottle of red wine and a big bowl of chili in the belly. <laughs> the best way to start the season. What more do you need? <laughs> so today we are continuing on getting this place ready for winter but more on a safety precaution standpoint. So we have this propane alarm that has been acting up for quite a while. Yeah, we either have a really bad propane leak or this thing just likes to yell at us, so. <laughs> either or. Yeah. One thing though that I will mention is we do have two other alternative alarms. They're both battery operated. So we have a detector right above us that is smoke and um, CO2. And then we also have one in the bedroom that does the same thing. But we really wanted to upgrade our system and get one that was actually hardwired in. Just because if the batteries ever die or something ever happens, we know that we're going to be safe and secure. So huge shout out to Camping World for partnering with us on this. Camping World has a huge selection of all kinds of safety products that are perfect for your RV as well as stuff to help you winterize your RV. They also sell that very foot pump there if you want to install your own off-grid system. Right there. So make sure you check out the link in our description box down below to find out more information or go to campingworld.com. So this is going to be pretty easy for us um, because they're the same size and the same electric. So really we just need to replace them and it'll be perfect. We'll be safe and we'll get to snuggle Eddie. Would you like that, Eddie? We got a leak, guy! Oh, we got a leak, everybody! We're gonna leave in a single file line! We're gonna head to the safety muster point! You stressed about that propane alarm, bud? Oh, yeah, I just... I don't know what it is. Okay, now we need to do a much more difficult task. We forgot to drain the water lines yesterday when we installed the system for the plumbing. Yeah. So we need to go tackle that now. And then we need to spend time with these nuggets. Dad, you always know how to speak, talk me, and make me feel better. <laughs> All right, let's head out and do that. All right, let's go. You ready to screw? All right, a few tools later, and I think we're finally starting to make some progress on getting this plug off. So right now we're just working on getting the plug out for the holding tank so that it can drain the and last little bit. We no longer need the holding tank, right? Exactly, but these plugs are proving to be difficult. I think I'm they are- I'm being 30 years old. Yeah. So this is the actual plug right here, and then this is what it goes into, and then this goes into the hose, and it's clamped on, but this is seized in. I had to work to get this unseized, but now it won't come out. I'm about to just cut the hose. There we go. All nice. right. So you can see it's all seized up and stuff, but what we'll do, so once it's done draining, I'll figure out a way to get this out and just clamp it back up into that hose. The good news is water's coming out, which is really great because now our water tank is not gonna freeze. Not that it really matters. Yeah, I don't so see annoying. <laughs> I don't see us going back to the other system because it was really annoying. We would fill up those um, jugs and then have to stand here and pour them in with a funnel into the holding tank where now we can just fill the jugs up and put them under the sink and not even have to worry about it. So, and get a glute workout on the same time. Exactly. They're gonna be like, does Todd squat? And I'm like, no, I do the dishes. <laughs> do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go in the woods? Oh, Dad! Where's oh, Charlie? Dad, you know how to sweet talk me? Charlie! No, so you did Charlie. already on my walk. Oh, there he is. Hey, bud. All right, let's be done work now. All right. Got it all drained. Also, I just want to quickly say we got this, which I'm really happy about. The box that we put our salt, 
and we're gonna get a little bit of sand and make a salt sand mix. Yeah, so this is gonna be, obviously we have metal steps, so it's really dangerous for slipping, so. Yeah, we took the carpets off too, just so that snow can push through and it's less like surface for it to build up ice. Yeah. All right. All right, let's I, go on our walk. I need um hats and this, it's way too cold. I've been like breathing. Can we have one minute, Charlie? One minute, please, Charlie. Oh, oh, let's go. I'm gonna find Bambi. So yeah, this is kind of like our little yard space here. We just sort of raked it, and then some of the trees that we've been um, cutting, we just place them down, or ones that are dead on the ground, we place them down and built a little barrier, so we have like our little front yard. It's really nice. It's really cute. A question we've been getting asked a lot lately is how close is the nearest house to where we are. We actually measured it the other day because we were really curious, and the answer is 900 meters. Yeah. So we're very, very, very private here, which That's is like, nice. A little over half a mile yeah. for our American friends. Oh yeah, I always forget about that. Look how excited they are. <laughs> hey. Get back here, Charlie. <laughs> they love it in the woods. See, that's all they wanted to do. So basically when we... <clears throat> Oh, oh, she said, I'm going through puberty today. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> when we go for a walk, we don't really follow any paths. We just kind of wander through the woods. There's nothing out there, so. Yeah, we are eventually, I do want to put a path in, like a little walking trail, because there's some cute points I want to hit along the way, and I tend yeah. to get lost, but. Ooh, this branch will be really good for Christmas planters. Yeah, and garland. Take that. All right, anyway, we are just going to go enjoy our walk and hang out with the boys. They've been neglected the last couple days. They're not used to not hanging out with us all the time anymore. Hey, buddy. This is my stick. Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, as always, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're not already. We'll see you next week because we post a new video every Sunday. See you Sunday. Bye.